x3 all the way up to xn be a random sample of independent random variables from a normal distribution. So the normal distribution has parameters population mean, mu, and population standard deviation, sorry, population variance in this case, sigma squared. Comment on the shape of the sampling distribution of the sample variance, s squared, with respect to the sample size n. So this actually asks us for to sort of state one particular important identity with regard to sampling distributions, particularly with regard to sample variances. It's a asks us a very important definition. And determine the variance of S squared based on its sampling distribution. Okay. So the sampling distribution of the variance is the chi square is a chi squared distribution with degrees of freedom equal to n minus one and n is the sample size. Given that the the random variable of interest is normally distributed, which is the case here, so the sampling dist distribution is characterized by the following definition or the following identity, I should say, n minus one over s squared divided by sigma squared is a randomly distributed uh, chi squared variable. That's chi squared, okay, with degrees of freedom n minus one. So this is the fundamental thing we're asked here. So essentially, it's a core, it's the building block for a lot of the sort of stuff to do with sampling distributions uh, so it's a very important to have that one clear in your head particularly as you go forward with a couple more of these questions so essentially that's it so uh, what does it ask so what's the second part comment on with respect to the sample size n so for small n the distribution is heavily skewed to the right as n gets larger the distribution gets more symmetric okay so I won't really be able to sort of, that's not sort of so easy to identify, uh, to demonstrate with pen and paper. It's more com a computational exercise with computers. So the second one is just actually, let's look at the theory first. The chi square distribution with degrees of freedom uh, nu has the following properties. It has the mean of the distribution is equal to the, the number of degrees of freedom. Okay is equal to the degrees of freedom and it, it the variance of it is equal to two times the number of the degrees of freedom so new uh, mu is equal to nu okay and sigma squared is equal to two nu okay just actually let's go ask us what the question is determine the variance of s squared based on its sampling distribution okay okay i just took a quick pause there for a second Anyway, so what we have here is a chi-squared random variable, and we know that the variance of this is equal to, the variance is equal to two times the degrees of freedom, okay? So it's two, the, vari the variance of this is equal to two times the degrees of freedom of that random variable, and that, oh, that chi-squared random variable, which is n minus one, which is to say two times n minus one, okay? Now, so essentially what we're asked here is the variance of S squared. So N minus one and Sigma squared are essentially constants. So what we could do there is take them out and square them. So I could have N minus one squared over Sigma to the power of four times the variance of S squared. I'll just sort of cancel them out, okay? So it is, just to be clear about that, the variance of k times x where k is a constant and x is a variable is equal to k squared times the variance of x okay that's exactly what i'm doing here okay so essentially what i do here is just cross multiply so i end up with the variance of s squared equal to sigma squared divided by n minus one squared times two times n minus one okay n minus one squared well that's square uh, cancels out with n minus one so what we're left with is two times sigma to the power of four all over n minus one so that should be a two there sorry there's a two missing two times sigma squared over n minus one that's the answer we're looking for essentially that is the variance of s squared so fundamentally what it was about was just really using this this identity here the one that we just introduced previously but also knowing about the chi-square distribution and the variance and the expected value and how they relate, relate to the degrees of freedom. All right, we'll leave it there.